Okay, we just previously did the calibration for the low flow range. Now we're going to do the medium flow range. You'll notice the medium flow range is a little bit wider out there. There's a higher flow on the high and the low. And this is where the pink was on the low flow. So when we're ready, we're going to do three tests of the medium flow. It's saying the same thing. Make sure that my syringe plunger is all the way out. And I hit OK. This time, I'm going to try to make sure that when I do this test, my flow inspiratory and expiratory are, are in that green box on top and bottom. My first time, you see that I've passed on both sides. You need to get the majority of your stroke in that colored box. I'm going to hit accept, and you'll see again, same range, test two. I'm going to do this three times, and it all has to be acceptable. So I'm going to hit start test. My plunger is completely out, and I'm going to hit OK. Start test goes away, and now I'm going to start. Test two, passed. Now I can accept it. And you should have been anticipating we have to do this a third time again. Hit start test. Plungers all the way out. Minimal adapters. Hit OK. Now this time I'm going to show you what happens when you do not go in the appropriate flow range. You can notice over here, I wasn't in the flow range on this side, but I was on this side. We're getting a warning that says flow rate outside the band. And you'll notice on the expiratory, where my cursor is, if you can see that, it has an asterisk. The asterisk says flow rate outside the band range. But it says passed. It was plus or minus the 3% for the 3 liter syringe. That means that the volume it recorded was within the appropriate range. But my flow, the rate in which I pushed the plunger in and pulled it out, was not appropriate for this portion of the medium band flow rate test. So this is not acceptable. So I have to do a retest. I'm going to make sure my plunger's out. I'm going to hit OK. Once the start test goes away, I'm going to do it again. Both of those pass. Now I have three acceptable. As you can tell right here, three acceptable. You can see here, I've kept the majority of my flow inside the band that I need. And so I'm going to hit accept now. And now I've done the, the low flow, and now I will do the high flow. And now if you notice, the color band has changed. It's moved up to the higher flows on both inspiratory and expiratory. And you'll see it says band high. We're looking at liter flows greater than 7 liters per minute, and it's waiting for the test one. 